chances are you're never going to attain financial freedom. Well, at least that's for most people. In fact, only 1 in 10 Americans believe that they have obtained financial freedom. But how do we get to financial freedom? It's quite simple. Having enough disposable income to meet your living needs is key to financial freedom. It's not about being wealthy and loaded with cash. Rather, it's about having enough money to live on and free up your time to pursue your interests rather than work for money. In this video, we are going to discuss the seven levels of financial freedom to assist you on your path to reaching your financial goals. Clarity. Let's get into the first step. It's fair to say that most people don't like to walk into situations blind. Being aware of your financial situation is key. Ask yourself, how much money do I have? Take a close look at your savings, investments, and cash on hand. How much debt do I have? Mortgage is important, but don't forget student loans and the infamous credit card debt. And finally, what are your financial goals? How do you want to live? Once all of these are evaluated, you are then able to start tracking and formulate a plan. A crucial first step in the goal towards financial freedom. Self-sufficiency. Monetarily speaking, you should be standing on your own two feet. This entails making enough money to pay for your expenses on your own without the assistance of family or friends. At this point, you may be living paycheck to paycheck, but the bills and all of your expenses are covered. This is the point that many Americans get to and remain. In fact, over 50% of Americans make just enough to cover their expenses and are tapped out until the next paycheck only to be in the same situation again. Fortunately, we are going to press on and not be a contributor to this statistic. Breathing room. This is the first point where we actually have some money left over after all expenses have been accounted for. But wait, this doesn't mean go out and blow it. We have to be smart and hold ourselves accountable. We are able to build our emergency fund or even invest in some stocks. This is a point in our journey where we are able to relax a little about money. Once you are finally able to get to a point where you see money that you are saving, investing, and or have some left over, it's a very rewarding feeling. But don't get too comfortable just yet. We have to continue to make positive efforts on the road to financial freedom. Stability. When a person reaches level four, they have paid off credit card debt and other high interest debt, and they have saved up an emergency fund that can cover six months worth of living expenses. Having an emergency fund helps guarantee that unforeseen events won't knock your finances off course. At this stage, you don't need to worry as you may have in the earlier stages. You've gotten great with your budget, your debt isn't as big as it was in the prior stages, and you're not constantly obsessing over your next payday. Money is now a tool that you can use to create the future you've been dreaming of, not just a safety net. This is the time to think about investing in assets other than retirement accounts, such as real estate for rental purposes, or perhaps a business of your own. Flexibility. People who reach this stage have at least two years of their financial lifestyle covered by your income. At this point, you could consider questions such as changing jobs voluntarily or taking a sabbatical year of studying to further yourself if you need to. In short, you have the flexibility to organize your life and time according to your preferences and you do not have to put up with certain work environments. You are no longer in the rat race and are able to take more control of your life and do what you want with your time. You are also able to pursue further investments allowing you to ultimately get to financial independence. Once you are financially independent, you won't need to work to support your way of life. You will need to amass significant wealth or establish additional revenue streams in addition to your salary or self-employed work in order to get to this point. You will be able to support yourself with the money you save and the additional passive income streams you've established. Either way, being financially independent does not require you to give up your job. Actually, a lot of people who get to this stage keep working. They either do this because they have started a business and are now self-employed, or because they have found a job that they truly enjoy and that motivates them along the way in this stage of flexibility. This is not the last stage. We still have one more stage until we reach true freedom. Abundant wealth. The last stage is abundance. You have more money than you could ever need at this point in your life, and you are no longer concerned about money on a daily basis. You are now free to follow your passions and unburden yourself with the results of your labors. However, how do you pay for your everyday needs? To live the way you want to live, all you need is the retirement rule of four. Four percent of your investment portfolio each month. For your understanding, the four percent rule refers to the annual percentage of savings that an individual can use when retiring and living off their savings. 
You can comfortably surpass that percentage once you've reached the abundance stage because you'll still have wiggle room. Tell us in the comments what stage you're at. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.